All right, so this is a little demo and we're going to use uh, the normal Fusion web application template and we're going to show you how to use dynamic components here. So first we're going to actually start with a model layer and we're going to just create a new view object. So we go to ADFBC and for our example we're just going to create a new view object, define a connection to the database, we're going to use the HR schema in this case. and we'll call this view V right? and we're going to mark it as a SQL read only view and then we're going to write any SQL statement here so I'm just going to select star from dual but you can write anything in this stage because we're just going to change it later on uh, the other thing we want to do is actually create an application module and put this view inside the application module right. Next, we're going to open the application model and in the Java section of it, we're going to create the implementation class for the application model and inside it, we're going to create a little method. So we'll define a public void method that will allow us to actually create views at runtime. Okay, so we'll call it create view. We're going to pass a parameter to this method and it's going to be actually the string that we're going to use for the query. So the first step that we're going to do is actually use the findViewObject method and we're going to look for our vView which in the application model is called v1 okay. and once we actually found this view object, let's actually put it inside a variable called vo so once we found this vo we're actually going to remove it so just call the remove method and then we're going to use another method that exists at the application model level right? so this one is actually called um, create view object from query statement first parameter is the name of the view so v1 and the second parameter is just going to be the string that we're passing to this method so this method would actually just go and create a view at runtime based on a SQL statement that you're passing and then we can actually execute the query for this view object. Right, so we define the method, let's expose it as a client um, method so we'll be able to access it from our view layer and next we're going to create our view layer. Right, so we see that our method is here, everything is fine. So first thing to do is we go into the project properties into the JSP tag libraries and we're going to add a new tag library for the ADF dynamic components okay, and those are the components that this demo is all about and create um, a new page flow simply put two pages on the flow and link them together so go would go from view 1 to view 2 and then we'll have a back to go back alright, let's edit the first page first page is just going to allow us to insert the parameters for our method so we're going to take the method, drag it over, create a parameter form and we'll have a field to insert our SQL statement and a button to actually invoke the method that creates the view object okay. um, we're going to also tell this button to also do the navigation and do the go navigation which would take us into the second page on the second page we're going to use the dynamic components what we're going to do is we're going to drag the view object over and you'll see that under form beyond the three little uh, regular options there's also the dynamic there's also a dynamic table by the way uh, we're going to use a dynamic form in this case okay. and we'll drag the view again over this time we'll drop it as uh, a set of navigation buttons so we'll be able to navigate through our page click save and go and run our first page so when the page comes up we have a field where we can just put in a SQL statement like select star from departments and click the button this goes creates the view and then we can see departments over here and we can browse through them we're actually missing the back button here so let's just edit this page and we'll add another button and just specify that this button is going to do the back navigation All right, save this one go back to the browser, let's invoke the first page again 
Okay, let's put another select statement in here. Let's do just the select from employees, click the button, and now the same page that previously showed us department is going to show us employees. And again, we can browse through the employees just as regular. Go back, we can put in another select statement. So, how about selecting something from the data dictionary, like from the tabs table, which is the list of the tables that this user owns. And again, same functionality. Go back, put a uh, more con conventional select statement like select start from location and we basically see information about locations.